Hello guys, welcome to Cloud Pi. In today's sessions, I am going to show you how to install Apache Cassandra in Ubuntu. Well, uh, you know, Apache Cassandra is a very popular um, NoSQL database, and uh, I am going to show you how to install these things. Okay, okay. Uh, to start with that, um, uh, just few things uh, I need to I want to say before the installations. Uh, I am going to show you the Apache Cassandra installation in Oracle OCI. Uh, this is not definitely not a, a cloud specific thing. You can install anywhere. You can install in your on premises uh, on premises Ubuntu server. You can install in OCI. You can install in AWS. I choose OCI because uh, currently I am you know a little bit familiar with the OCI and uh, maybe the AWS if I'll choose the AWS it will cost me a little bit more so that's why I am choosing the OCI okay another thing is that um, Apache Cassandra is a bit uh, memory intrinsic so even I tried the uh, to install with the um, AWS uh, the free tires also the um, OCI free tires uh, like you know but I face a few problems with these things. First of all, even though I could install it, um, I could not start it. Sometimes it is uh, it, during the startup it is failed because it could not allocate the memory. Uh, also, uh, at the t uh, at the time of uh, you know logging to the you know uh, SQL SH prompt, it was also failing because uh, in the Cassandra it says it's something around uh, two uh, vCPU or two OCPU and also minimum 4 gigs or 6 gigs of memory is required so uh, it is better that you will choose a instance a particular compute instance where uh, there will be uh, at least 4 gigs of memory so i'll be using a particular instance in the oracle oci which will having the one uh, ocpu and 6 gigs of memory okay so please you have to you know you have to uh, consider these things you know before uh, starting these installations okay let's proceed so uh, this is my uh, OCI um, front page so I'll immediately go to the compute instance and I'll create instance uh, let me put a instance name as a cloud by and uh, compartment I'll choose I got a compartment called database I'll choose database instance and shape uh, uh, it is uh, Oracle Linux is default so I'll I have to choose the Ubuntu I'll uh, choose this uh, create image um, I'll choose the Ubuntu 20.4 is okay for me and compartment is database okay versions I maybe I can choose the uh, uh, below version but 24 phone is good for me okay select image now the next thing is that change shape it is showing you the AMD 16 gigs of memory I don't require that much so I'll immediately go to the uh, you know there is a AMD you can choose Intel but I'll choose the specialty and previous generations okay the so first thing is that you know one OCP and one memory gigs uh, this is default this is free but I cannot choose now I already explained so I am going to choose either I can choose this you know uh, VM standard 1.1 or VM standard 2.1 anything is good for me but I'll choose um, maybe VM standard 1.1 okay because it's having one OCPU and 7 gigs of memory so it is good for me okay select shape networking I already having a uh, virtual network uh, I'll choose uh, VCN2 subnet is okay uh, public IPv4 address yeah assign a public IPv4 address good SSH key I'll paste my SSH key I already have a previous video where I show how to create a SSH key is just uh, SSH keygen command so I already have that I am going to uh, So I am going to copy and paste this is HP. Okay. And the next thing is a boot volume. Uh, whatever the volume is given, it's good. I don't have to choose any. I believe 50 gigs is already there. 
and uh, there is a advanced option advanced options called tagging i am good with that because whatever the cloud agent and all this thing is there i am good with that i don't require any kind of steps so create so it's gonna take uh, less than a minute to create these things so uh, i'll be uh, trying to install i'll be uh, uh, using this document uh, so I'll in the maybe uh, after this uh, installations video I'll be putting this document uh, somewhere and uh, give you the link so that you can refer okay my instance is now running I'll just try to log in now using the public IP address So I log into my uh, Ubuntu machine. The first things I require a Java. So I'll check whether my Java is installed or not. So it is not installed. Okay. So I'll be installing the Java using the default GRE using the sudo command. Okay. Maybe before that, uh, it is better that you know. I'll do the update and thereafter I'll do that. Okay. Okay. So this is happens, you know, in, in the repository, if you don't update, it will won't get reflected. So whenever you will get this kind of issues, you first the first bit, you know, better things to do you first do the update and then you will try to install anything okay so it's done now i'll check the java versions okay it is uh, 11.0 and uh, this is latest that is okay the next things i am going to uh, uh, do the repository add the repository of the cassandra to the cassandra source file source list file so uh, this is something a prerequisite steps so what this will do this will create a um, it will create an entry to the particular file and this is uh, going to be entry okay so if you'll see this thing uh, this should be a entry here yeah the next thing uh, I'm going to add the Apache Cassandra repository keys this is very straightforward indeed got it the next thing is that you know it says that uh, you know it will do the update again but I believe I should be good because I already updated uh, let's try if it is happens without update otherwise I will update again yeah it is happening because I already did that now okay I believe I have to update again because I believe the update needs to be done because I have changed some of the uh, field here so maybe the update is required okay um, inst Apache installations is done so I'll check the system log system log is one of the major log uh, one of the important log files in the Cassandra level I'll check whether I can see the logs yes it's saying that um, it's already uh, done okay I'll check the status this is already running okay you can see the node tool status okay let's discuss about the node tool status uh, 
uh, you can get the health of the Cassandra installations or kind of a using this node tool status and it will give you the all the informations or the overview of the informations here the first thing is that you can see that thing the status up down okay and the state is uh, there are different kind of status that is one is up and down uh, and the state is normal living joining and moving okay these are the four steps now this is you here it stands is up and in stats this is normal okay the second is the address it is running in the local address local uh, ip private ip that is 127.0.0.1 okay the load this is the load the tokens we'll discuss about the tokens somewhere else this is the 16 token and the host id this is the host id and the rack this is the default rack and the rack is a uh, name is a rack one okay so this is the uh, we are i am having only one particular cassandra instance so it is uh, showing one in case of the cassandra clusters uh, it will be showing multiple if i have a multiple instance the cassandra cluster okay the next thing is that uh, if i go to the my document is next thing is that um, if I want to log into the Cassandra, the SQL SH, because it's there is a prerequisites the uh, install Python 2.7, though the Python 2.7 is quite old, but this is a prerequisites. I believe it's already Python 2.7 is installed somewhere. Python minus V. Okay, 2.7 is already installed. That's great. That's why I could able to uh, log into these things, but this is something a prerequisites okay if you don't have the python 2.7 you can install it uh, like you know uh, the by the no if you if you don't have these things you maybe install sudo apt install python 2.7 um, maybe before that you can update the stuffs and then uh, and uh, later you can install it I'll just try to show you that how you can install though it is already installed for me Python okay you can say it's already installed otherwise you could install this sudo app command and uh, then after that you can just check the Python versions and if it is 2.7 then you are good to go okay so you can so now the next steps what you can do the key space you can create the table whatever uh, way you can want uh, now I'll discuss about the uh, how to change the heap side parameters so before going to that uh, you know that we have uh, chosen a OCI instance having uh, seven gigs of ram so by default uh, during the cassandra installations uh, uh, jvm that is the java virtual machine heap size uh, is taken 1 to 32 gigs depending upon the uh, amount of ram and java installed i got a uh, 7 gigs of ram and the uh, cassandra environment sh automatically configures the mean and max size and values of the following formula so this is the formula it is taken so half of my ram into uh, uh, max of mean of half of my ram that is four three and a half gigs and minimum of one four hams uh, ram of 32 gigs so this is the formula it will take that uh, it will consider and it will um, create the jvm as per that uh, but if you want to change the jvm hip size suppose i got a very bigger machines where uh, multiple application is running I don't want um, uh, Cassandra to choose uh, itself uh, to put the RAM size so I can definitely alter these things and I have to do that using this you know, JVM option files this is the four parameters I can use minimum uh, is a minimum memory maximum the maximum memory the new generation memory new generation memory and the parallel processing so mostly uh, these two things are very important new generation memory also sometimes been used and the parallel processing for uh, 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 garbage collector if you can use it if you it's required for you okay so suppose uh, this is the jvm option file this is mostly used during the startup okay 
so you can see that this is a heap memory so now it is commented out if I'll uncomment suppose I'll x max I'll put as a 3 kicks and uh, x max I can put as a okay I'll put it as 2 gigs I'll put as a 3 gigs and this is about uh, uh, new generation it is better to be in default otherwise if you want to really change it or if you uh, uh, then you can change it but I'll put it as a default okay so I'll change these two parameters I'm going to restart the Cassandra to make it effect stop okay and then I'll start okay so uh, that shows uh, how can I uh, we install the Cassandra on Ubuntu and how can I change the um, the JVM heap parameters uh, the memory settings if it is not the uh, so that shows uh, how to install the Cassandra on Ubuntu machines and how to change the startup memory parameters okay hope you enjoy the video thank you bye